Hello everyone. Um, today uh, I'll be showing um, how we can just assemble a set like this. This is something that I painted yesterday. Um, and uh, we'll just do a quick assembling of how something like this would uh, look when it's put together. Open it up. Put it in. This makes it, if you, you, you already probably get the idea. So, you know, post this, it can just be adding a string, adding a chain, whatever that you want. I'd close this. I had already shown how these beads can be made. And uh, I just painted these and um, I kept it ready. So, yeah, this, is, this is what I'm going to use in order to paint them. So, I'll probably show one piece of how it can be done. Uh, so, this is what we'll try and do. I've tried to incorporate most of the colors in the bead. Um, so that's the idea. Let's just see how this was done. Obviously when I paint a bead like this, I usually prefer having some sort of a support uh, to hold on to the bead so that it doesn't shake too much. So this is an old paintbrush of mine uh, that I have. It's already very frayed and blunt. So I would just hold on to the bead in this manner and just support it with my uh, index finger. This makes painting a lot easier and uh, I would use uh, yellow ochre. Um, a shade which was predominantly used here I would just go on and okay once that's done um, I've just put a, a line like that and uh, what I would do is using the back of my brush I would just put uh, dots on the alternate, not alternate, I mean these uh, lower triangles. The back of the brush generally helps me get a nice neat um, circular dot. Um, I think something like this can be used even while you're drawing mandalas, um, this technique, the dotted mandala. <clears throat> Once that's done, um, I use a double zero brush, like I uh, the one that I used for outlining this piece last uh, yesterday. So I would I would use this brush, um, diluted. So if you see in the beads, I've actually included three shades: diluted yellow ochre, diluted orange, and a deep red or a maroon. So that's the colors I'll be using today as well. So I would dilute yellow the yellow ochre, my first layer would be yellow ochre. I'm just putting on a, a diluted, okay, once that's done, I'll move on to diluted orange. It's almost a little continuous, so that's the effect I'm looking for. So you see how the, you know, how the colors really blend. it so it's uh, just flat um, uh, wooden beads I think you will probably get this in a lot of fancy stores um, stage I mean probably yeah hobby stores and fancy stores um, so I have a green I have a pair of green I have orange and I have like a deep red maroon kind of a shade <clears throat> so once that's done I had already shown that I end up using cords like these for um, assembling my, um, you know, uh, pendants. Put a little bit of fevicol at the end of this so that it becomes um, more like a needle so that it easy, easily enters the bead. Um, in my case, I would just hold it really close to my finger in this manner so that I put the whole thing in one shot in the hole over here. I would add a bead like this. 
you always want to make sure your beads are well dried huh, after painting so there you go you have something like this I think this is I think this looks really nice and uh, in fact on adding um, probably some um, black beads I think it will just enhance the look uh, of the entire piece I think um, you know maybe roughly about 10 beads on either sides along with this would give you a full length chain I always tend to knot it just so that it doesn't really come off when um, you know or, or shake too much the person is wearing it once that's done the end I um, I generally assemble I generally assemble my pieces with a wooden bead um, you know something like this this is always a tricky part you you know requires a little bit of practice and obviously you can make out that you know there is a the the chain basically has to hold on to the weight so which is why it's able to move I think, uh, I think it's I, I personally uh, do like this the um, inclusion of so many colors and um, it's just a very colorful piece I think this is it I hope you like what you see um, if yes then please do uh, like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel um, thank you for um, watching thanks thanks everyone